What's up, guys? It's me, your pet answer, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough. Okay, so yeah, we went through Route 44 and destroyed everybody. Now we're here in the Ice Path, and uh, well, we need to do something right here first. That is, yeah, we need to use repels because uh, yeah, we don't want to get bothered by any of these Pokemon right here. I mean. Technically, the ice path, you can get through this place in like three minutes or so. No, I lie, like maybe five to ten minutes because, well, it's not that big. And would you look at that, it's Cameron the photographer, so... Yeah, let's go ahead and take a picture. Yeah, my Pokemon team has progressed a lot. We are fully evolved and ready to kick some you-know-what around here. And look at that, everybody's taking a picture. I kind of don't like the fact that Amphro's kind of blocked it. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> kind of uh, kind of blocked uh, Relic's uh, face right there, but anywho, yes, the ice path right here is not that big, not that long. The only thing you have to actually figure out is uh, is the um, is the which we call it the puzzle, the ice puzzles, and of course you have to you know move some boulders around. Now, if you grab this thing, you will find the HM07, which of course teaches waterfall. Unfortunately, we don't have the badge yet to actually use it. Well, outside of battle and all that crud. So, let's go ahead and, uh, well, let's use another repel because, yeah, regular repel is only 100 steps. Now, if you talk to this guy right here, he's going to notice that you picked up the HM. And, yes, he's telling you, keep it. It's a waterfall. It's fun climbing waterfalls. And, uh, well, that's pretty much it right there. Waterfalls and all that crud. So, like I said, guys, uh, there is a puzzle right here where there's boulders. So, make sure to have a Pokemon that knows strength. And, uh... Well, let's see, what else? There's really nothing else that you can do here now. Wow, I did not teach a Pokemon how to learn strength. Ah, oh, crud. Okay, so this is kind of like my Pokemon Silver Walker, where I literally forgot about strength. Literally, literally forgot about strength. And I had to, like, make a pause and then go back and then, yeah, that kind of stuff. So, here we are, I'm giving strength to Cinder right here, and, uh... Let's see, what kind of move should we take it out? Yeah, okay, so it's got quick attack right there. I think I should take this one out because we're not really using it much. And, well, there we go. We replaced the strength, or we replaced quick attack with strength. And look at this. It is time. That's right. Let's get it. Alrighty, Cinder, you learned strength. Okay, let's move some boulders right here because we need to get the heck out of here. We need to get to Blackthorn City. We need to actually uh, get our eighth badge right here. Now, as you can see, there are a few boulders. Follow the thing, or follow the way, or the, the way I move these boulders in order to get by this place. You don't move these boulders around, you're not going to get to the, the final area right here in the uh, ice pass. So just, uh, you know, follow along right here. I know that you guys uh, like to like to follow my my uh, my recordings and all that stuff. That's great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Just don't do the stupid things that I do, like I don't know the stupid mistakes that I forget to do. Like you know, forget strength at the other town. You know, rookie mistake. I've been playing Pokemon for quite some time, and yeah, never really thought that I would forget strength in 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 which you call it in uh, what was it called again? Uh, All of Ice City. Yeah. Alright, so we put one of them there, right there, and now we're going to be going straight to the other uh, boulders right here. And, uh, let's see. Oh, well, th th this one's a doozy right here. Now, you have to literally move this whole thing around and all crud. Really bugs the crap out of me. Ugh. Anywho, uh, let's see. You guys have already gotten my Let's, uh, or Draven's Talk, uh, Draven's Talk episode right here on my channel, and you guys have already noticed that, yes, the only walkthroughs that will be coming out will be Pokemon Heart Gold and Pokemon, and Pokemon Sword and Shield, mainly because of the fact that my schedule has been, uh, you know, filled up with a lot of fun things. I am excited. And to reward you guys, well, we're going to be focusing on the main games of this uh, of this channel right here. It's been fun actually getting all these walkthroughs out throughout the pandemic, but now it is time to get busy with everything that I have because it's been quite some time, guys. It's it's a relief. It really is. Now, here we are with the final boulder. This is always the one that, that, that really gets me. Okay. Yes. This is the one that really gets at me, but look at this. We're doing a fine job. First time, uh, first charm, uh, for, first time the ch is the charm right there, and there you go. Now we're going through this hole right here. As you can see, the boulders are positioned in specific places to slide around and actually stop at. You don't actually uh, move these boulders. Of course, you won't be able to get these items or even get out of here. So that's actually a pretty good thing right here. Now, what kind of Pokemon can you find in this area? 
believe Jinx is one of them. Zubat, Golbat, yeah, those Pokemon. I don't know if Sneasel is around here. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. I'm not even looking at a Pokemon handbook right here. And look at this. Yes, sir, we got ourselves a full heal and all that crud. I'm feeling happy about that. That's good. And, well, we're going into the next room right there. Make sure to bring a Pokemon with a uh, Rock Smash if you just want to get through that little boulder right there. And, of course, another Repel because, well, gotta love them Repels. And we're going to go through here and let's see what we can find in this item. Yes, the Never Melt Ice. It's always fun to have. Thank you, Jeebus, for that one. And, well... Let's go right ahead and move on to the final area right there. And let's see. Is there anything right here? Nope. Except our mother is calling us, like always. And, well, here we have an item. Of course, we're going to have to, like, go around right here. Uh, right there. And there it is. We got ourselves a TM-72 Avalanche. Pretty good ice-type move. And our mom has finally stopped calling us. Now, let's see. What else is here? Okay, so here we are into the next area of the ice path. And we've got to use another repel because, of course, 100 steps is never enough in this place right here. No, oh, wow, another item. And, yes, we need to move that boulder in order to position us to that Pokeball right there. So, let's go right ahead and move this guy around right here. And let's go ahead and push this sucker right here. Let's go, Cinder, get it. Push. Now, I think we have to push it right here. Right there, but let's go ahead and... Ah, oh, crud, I think I messed up. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, I think I messed up right here. Yeah, we should have uh, we should have positioned it right there at the beginning. So we're going to go inside the next room, and then we're going to go back outside, or whichever way you like, to, you like to pull it, or call it, whatever. And let's go ahead and press this uh, boulder yet again. Let's go. Look at this. Sitting there, ready to push. Okay, right there, and well, let's go ahead and start sliding around. We're sliding in our DM just like that, and we found ourselves an iron. Pretty good uh, vitamin, or you can actually sell it for a good price, you know, if you're kind of strapped for money right there. And well, let's see, final repel, let's get the heck out of here. Please, let's get the heck out of here. And well, let's see, here is an item, and you can actually get yourself a protein, another pretty good uh, item to boost up your, your Pokemon stats or sell. Now there is a Kimono Girl right there, so let's go right ahead and see what she's all about. If I can actually position myself to her. Oh crud. Okay, so let's see. Uh right here? Okay. So as you can see, we're meeting her and her sandals got her sandals got frozen. And well, we actually have to push her. So now, yes, we are gonna be pushing her on her back and BAM! She is pushed and she is so thankful. She's like, you're really kind. Thank you so much. And there you go, guys. That's the mission right there. We helped a kimono girl. How anticlimactic. Okay, so now there is an item right there, and well, we're already here. Yeah, we're gonna get the heck out. Eventually, we're gonna get that item. I don't even know if that's a TM or anything. So you talk to this guy, and he's telling us we are a really hot shot, or we are a real hot shot trainer, which is true. Anywho, this was the episode, guys. Stay tuned in the next one. We're gonna be going to the Blackthorn City Gym. See you guys.